Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Asad Ali and uh, in this video I will tell you how you can run your Selenium web driver, Python Selenium web driver on your Google Colab uh, notebook. So stay with me and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. So let's start. Alright, first of all, um, I'll, I'll walk you through step by step how you are going to create a notebook and then you are going to, uh, how you are going to use that notebook for Selenium automation. So first of all, uh, what you are going to do is just uh, Google Colab. And uh, the first thing that shows up is probably welcome to collaboratory and let's just go there and see. Uh, Alright, for me it is uh, showing something like this but uh, you just need to click on new notebook and uh, it will create a new notebook for you. Alright, uh, now if you look here we have got our new um, notebook and uh, if you are familiar with Jupyter notebook before you uh will find a lot of similarities here uh, and we have got our cell to run and uh, uh, we can uh, add new row here and simply if we uh, write a code here we will be able to execute by clicking on this play button so this is how we um, do it in uh, i guess jupyter notebook as well so let's uh, install some uh, a few libraries to get started so to run selenium first we need to install selenium and uh, to do that we are going to use pip pip is al already installed so you don't need to worry about that so let's install pip install selenium and uh, it will simply install selenium uh, in your jupyter node uh, maybe it will for the first time it might take a couple of minutes because it is connecting you to um, your instance and uh, once it connects you then you can simply run and it will uh, execute along the way all right now we have our selenium installed and uh, don't worry about these it is just a warning so uh, selenium will work just fine now next thing uh, i'm going to do is i'm going to update uh, our uh, uh, apt get so to do that let's just use apt dot get and update okay now it's uh, updating the apt get and uh, let me just uh, close that part and uh, let's add a new row here and uh, I'm going to use this apt uh, get up dash get up uh, command to install our chromium browser first click on play button and it will simply download and install chromium browser in your uh, in your notebook it is basically your instance uh, i think linux based instance so uh, it is just downloading your chrome driver in that chromium browser It is done and it is a installed. Now next part is uh, next step is to install our Chromium uh, web driver. To do that, I'm going to use apt get again. Just apt, I guess. apt install chromium dash. Okay, it is installed, and uh, as you see here, we have got our. Uh, let me narrow it down. Okay, we have first we installed Selenium, and after that we update our apt get library, and after that now we have our Chrome browser, and uh, we need Chrome uh, Chrome driver to Chromium browser and Chromium uh, web driver to uh, run our Chrome browser. Now let's uh, test our code for once. Uh, for that, let's import from Selenium import web driver okay now we are going to create our driver and try to launch chrome and see what happens okay we have uh, to do few things before we are able to run our um, chrome driver first thing is that we are we are supposed to add our uh, selenium sorry chrome driver and path 
okay um, here, here you, you can do few things you can check the path all by yourself and um, let me just show you how let me add a new row here and uh, just uh, type ls and uh, user lib and execute this and you will see all the uh, libraries that, that are installed in your computer if you look here we can see that we have chromium browser installed so let's uh, go in there and run again and uh, now you can see that we have this chrome driver inside chromium browser so uh, this is the path that we are going to use as an executable path for our chrome web driver okay and let's uh, add that here we will need a couple of more options but let let's just get rid of first uh, first get rid of this error and then i'll tell you how to solve that part so if you look here um, it says the process started from chrome location it is is no, no no longer running as chrome driver is assuming that chrome is already crashed that means the error has changed that means we have added a path correctly and now what we are going to do is we are going to add some options so that um, this errors error goes away and we are able to run our um, driver correctly so to do that let me just import uh, uh, define options here and uh, webdriver dot uh, chrome options inside these options i'm going to add some arguments most important is uh, no sandbox i guess remember that make sure to add this on the top if you have other arguments as well make sure that you are uh, adding this argument on the uh, as a first argument okay okay next is uh, headless this is also important because non non headless browser i guess is not supported in uh, non gui um, servers okay we have now uh, headless browser as well we can also do one more option here which is uh, disable gui sorry gpu okay and uh, one more thing let me just add another option which is also important uh, okay options dot add argument which is uh, disable sorry, disable dev shm dash usage all right now we have we are i guess uh, ready to execute our script and uh, to add options in our chrome driver let me just add uh, options equals to options here okay i think we are all set now let me just execute this and see if we have got our all right unsubscribable uh, okay i think i have made some uh, typo here all right it is not a dictionary i beg your pardon let me just remove this these these are supposed to be arguments not uh, okay let me just remove this okay let's save it and run again all right now you can see that we have our, our driver running and uh, it did not raise any error so it means that it is running fine let me just test it to see what we uh, what we got here to so we can use driver i hope you are familiar with selenium and how to write exports and if you're not i have some a couple of videos you can visit my channel and uh, why those videos let's just uh, sorry driver dot get uh, i think let me just use all right this is the one uh, okay now i'm going to use this one <coughs> okay let's execute this and uh, all right we have got it let's just add another row and try to find few things so that you uh, we know that we are on the right path and we are getting what we want Drive dot find element uh, by dot export and here I'm going to type export which is uh, yes um, let me just uh, have a look at it quickly
text and uh, let's just do this dev class these two parameters and then we are able to get uh, all the text from that and we are going to loop over this or element in all right now let's uh, just uh, print element dot text before i do that i just need to make sure that i import by from selenium okay let's just go back to the top and uh, import from maybe add a new row just move this one and uh, from dot web driver dot common by import ui by okay this is why all right let's execute this i guess we have not made any errors okay let me just run this one and uh, you know that we have got our web driver and we have got our buy and uh, driver is ready let's just print this let's see if i can print this all right uh, if you look here we have got the codes all the codes here tags codes tags all the text from those tags so i'm pretty sure uh, this is all that uh, you need let me just uh, split this one into some and see text so that you have you can see this clearly okay if you look here we've got the world we created is a process of our thinking all right so we have got our text we now you know that how to uh, uh, run your web driver on uh, google collab so if you like this video and uh, if you really like the channel don't forget to subscribe and like the video uh, you have a good day thanks for watching